Did the world almost miss Isaac Newton's genius? Imagine a sickly boy abandoned by his father before birth left with a mother who didn't want him. He grew up alone angry watching the world. No one believed he would be anything. Then everything changed. At 23 while escaping the plague, Newton sat under an apple tree. The fall of that apple wasn't just a story, it sparked an obsession, gravity. The force that pulls planets bends time, commands the cosmos. For years he scribbled furiously alone in his dark room, unraveling the secrets of motion light and mathematics. Laws that no one could see but everyone obeyed. They laughed at him, said he was mad, but he rewrote science itself. Every motion, every orbit, every ripple in the universe, he mapped it all. Today, rockets pierce the sky, satellites orbit Earth, and physics explains reality, all thanks to him. Newton didn't just see things differently. He saw the unseen, and maybe that's the key sometimes the ones the world almost forgets are the ones who they change. don't tell you. Newton wasn't just a genius, he was obsessive, the kind that teetered on madness. When rival scientists doubted his work, he locked himself away for days forgetting to eat or sleep just to prove them wrong. He wrote letters dripping with rage, tore apart their arguments, and burned their reputation to ashes. For Newton being right wasn't enough. He needed the world to know, and the irony. He was terrified of being forgotten. His discoveries, gravity motion optics, weren't just about science. They were his way of screaming to the universe, I exist. Yet despite all his brilliance, he died alone. No family, no friends by his side. Just stacks of papers that would revolutionize the world long after he was gone. So what does it mean to leave a legacy? For Newton, it meant sacrificing everything. His mind reshaped reality, but his heart paid the price. And now the question falls to us. What are we willing to give for the sake of the un- Like and subscribe for next story.